Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a much requested video. I asked you guys on Instagram what types of videos you want to see from me and I got a ridiculous amount of requests for fall inspired videos so I figured it is finally September so why not start off those fall videos with a bang and just do a video full of the best makeup products for fall. So today I'm going to be talking about all of my must-have beauty products for fall. I've got a lot of eyeshadows, some lipsticks, some blushes, everything that I think that you need in the fall time. To me, fall makeup colors are like jewel tones and rich warm browns and like burgundies and greens and just like all of like the most beautiful makeup colors are in the fall time. But before I begin, I actually just want to make a little quick announcement. In my first vlog, I asked you guys what we should name our little community. And in my second vlog, I narrowed down the names that you guys came up with. And we came up with three names and then you guys voted. And we finally have an official name for the Jamie Page Beauty community. So drum roll please. Our community name is JP Crew. I'm so excited about this name. I love it so much and I'm so happy that we got to choose it together. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, let's just get into the video because this is gonna be a long one. So in this little Z palette, I sort of just put together all of my favorite single eyeshadows. All right, so the first two that I have over here are two Makeup Geek Fold eyeshadows. The first one right over here is called Mesmerize, and this is a stunning taupe color that has a really pretty purpley undertone to it. This type of color works really well on every single eye color. It will make all eye colors pop, and it's just such a gorgeous color to put all over the lid. So this is Makeup Geek Mesmerized. Then we have another foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is called Grandstand. This is a little bit more of a warmer brown, another really gorgeous fall color. These types of coppery brown colors really do scream fall for me. So here are both of the eyeshadows swatched on my hand. All right, so the next two colors I'm gonna be talking about are gonna be from Anastasia. So the first one is called Red Earth. This is probably one of my favorite, really, really warm matte browns. It has a lot of red and a little bit of purpley undertones to it. So here is Red Earth swatched right over here. Probably one of my all-time favorite Anastasia eyeshadows. This is Beauty Mark. This is a stunning purple-based matte brown. Today, I actually do have Beauty Mark in my crease to deepen up this look that I'm wearing right now. So this is Beauty Mark right over here. So moving on to a MAC shadow, this is called Amber Lights. Now you cannot have fall eyeshadow without a really nice gold, and this is probably one of my favorite gold eyeshadows, which is why I wanted to include it. What I like so much about this gold is that it's not too much of a yellow gold. It's that perfect mix between like a copper and a yellow gold. It's like right in the middle and it's very, very flattering on a lot of different people. Basically, everybody could wear this. So right over here is Amber Lights. Another Anastasia eyeshadow that I want to talk about is Morocco. This is a gorgeous red, orangey base brown. This is just stunning to pop above the crease to really warm up any eye look. So this is what Morocco looks like, swatch on the hand. Like I said, when I think of fall, I think of jewel tone. So this next color is called Rosette from Anastasia, and it's actually the color that I'm wearing on my lid right now. This color is probably just one of my favorite purple eyeshadows. It has a little bit of like reddish undertones to it, so it's not like a cool tone purple, it's much more of a warmer purple, which is why I really like it, and this will complement so many eye colors. It will make every single eye color pop. So this is Rosette from Anastasia. All right, so next we have a few greens. So this is another Anastasia eyeshadow in Emerald. It's a gorgeous green color, probably one of my favorites, and this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of like a sheen and shimmer to it, which makes it gorgeous. So this is Emerald right over here. Next we have Envy. This is from Makeup Geek. Envy compared to Emerald is a little bit more blue, like a little bit more turquoise than green, which is still why I want to include it because it's quite different when you compare it to emerald and it's still such a gorgeous color. So as you can see, this is Envy and this is Emerald and they're quite different. You could definitely tell that Emerald definitely has a little bit more green, whereas Envy, even though it is definitely a green, it has a little bit of turquoise in it as well. So this is Envy right over here. Going out of the jewel tones, I'm moving back into more of like the neutral colors. It's probably one of my favorite all-time Anastasia eyeshadows in general, but in fall time, these types of taupey, sparkly colors all over the lid are just like my thing, they're my jam. This is called Truffle Glitter, and it has such a beautiful sheen as well. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so, so stunning. Then we have another Anastasia eyeshadow. This is Dark Chocolate Shimmer. This is a gorgeous, deep, chocolatey shade with some shimmer in it. I like to actually use this eyeshadow wet. Otherwise, you don't really get the sparkles. If you do use it dry, they sort of just disappear. So if you use it wet, you will get that 
metallic -y sheen to it, which is really, really pretty. So this is Dark Chocolate Shimmer. All right, so I have three more eyeshadows left and they're all from Makeup Geek. This one over here is a very strange looking color. This is called Preppy. It's not the prettiest color in the world, but this type of color in the fall time is just gorgeous to wear. If you're going to be wearing green eyeshadow in the fall time, this is a really great eyeshadow to have because it's just such a great transition color to really blend out green eyeshadow seamlessly. It's also a really interesting transition color in general. I'm telling you, it's like surprisingly really, really, really nice on the eyes. So that is preppy. All right, so next I have Chickadee, which is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows. This one looks a little bit scary because it's like a bright orange yellow, but this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows to use to really warm up a look. You could take some of this eyeshadow on a really fluffy brush and just put it right above your crease, like almost where your transition shade would go, and it just warms up a look and adds such a beautiful warmth to it. Did I just repeat myself 20 times? Yes, I did. I actually use it today above my transition to warm up this look a little bit. It's subtle, but it just adds that little something that is just so pretty. So this is Chickadee. Last color I wanna talk about is called Dirty Martini. This is basically like an army green color, another gorgeous color to have if you plan on wearing green eyeshadow, because you could definitely use this to really blend it out really nicely. And it's just such a gorgeous color. So there we have Dirty Martini. Then I have a few eyeshadows from ColourPop and Stila that I want to talk about. This ColourPop eyeshadow in Blaze is a really, really pretty soft gold. I really do like the ColourPop eyeshadows. They're very affordable. They're only $5. So this is Blaze from ColourPop. And you can see that gorgeous sheen that it has. And the second shade that I have from ColourPop is called Mooning. And this is another gorgeous, really rich, warm brown shade with a lot of sparkle in it. This is Fall in a Tin. This is actually very similar to the Anastasia Dark Chocolate Shimmer, but this is a little bit warmer. Then I have a Stila Magnificent Metal Eyes Vintage Black Gold eyeshadow. I use this so much and it is just so beautiful all over the lid. These eyeshadows are stunning. They, they are so metallic that they look wet. And this is just like, all right, so now I have two MAC eyeshadows that I definitely want to mention because they are stunning. They are both from the Extra Dimension eyeshadow collection. The first one over here is called Amorous Alloy. It's just the perfect copper shade. It doesn't have like a shimmer. It just has like a gorgeous sheen to it, and I think it is stunning. Then I have another jewel tone. This is called Rich Core. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple shade. So here is the Rich Core and then the Amorous Alloy. All right, so that is it for all like the single eyeshadows. And now I have eyeshadow palettes that I think are perfect for fall. The first one that I love is the Becca Ombre Rouge eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is the palette that I've been using basically every single day. I use all of the shades in this palette. There's not one in here that I don't like. And I just think it's that perfect, super, super warm palette that has everything you sort of need for an everyday look. You have, all right, I'm rolling on my sleeves because we're getting into the lipsticks. I'm also gonna take my watch off because I feel like it's gonna be a swatch fest. <laughs> Might as well start off with the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the LA Splash Sminted Lip Tint Mousse in Love Good. It's a gorgeous, rosy, dark nude. The next lip color that I want to talk about is a lipstick from Kat Von D. This is her studded kiss lipstick in Chula. It's such a beautiful birch orangey red color. It's a matte and it is just stunning. It's a very, very unique color. You don't see these types of colors very often, which is why I picked it up. And it's just such a beautiful, like I said, burnt orangey red. Now we have a very, very vampy shade. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Potion. This is a very, very dark, deep purple shade. I think when fall comes, just wearing like a color like this, that's like super, super dark and vampy with just mascara, like really, really big lashes is probably one of the most stunning looks. How beautiful is that? It's really, really cool. It's an awesome color. Then we have this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Honolulu. This. When I tried it on, I was like, oh my God, I am wearing this all the time. It's like a brown that has a little bit of like purpley red undertones in it. This is so beautiful on, and if you're really into like deep vampy colors, you will be obsessed with this. I have two ColourPop shades here. I spoke 
previously about Bumble before in my August favorites. I said this is going to be my new go-to fall like everyday lipstick and it totally will be. Gorgeous like burnt orangey nude color. Then I have over here, this is called Tool and this is a really, really gorgeous dark rosy nude. Very similar to Love Good but I just wanted to give you guys another option. This one though has a little bit more red and not such a strong pink undertone. So this is ColourPop Tool. Next, I have another Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Vamp. This is a very vampy color. As the name obviously suggests, it's a really, really pretty, um, really, really, really dark brown based red. Like it's pretty much brown, but it definitely has those red undertones in it to make it a little bit more wearable and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I wear this a ton in a lot of my Instagram pictures, so if you wanna see it on the lips, go ahead and check it out over there. Another Ofra liquid lipstick, this is in the shade Mina. This is a gorgeous deep berry shade. It's a very, very dark one and Ofra, as you guys know, are my favorite liquid lipsticks, so. I love it. These are the new ready-to-wear lip tars. This is in the shade Vintage. It's much more of a warmer red, and I love this red. It's so stunning. I have a Sephora liquid lipstick here. This is in the shade number 14. This is another really pretty berry shade. I love this shade so much. It is so flattering. There's something about it that is just really, really beautiful. I have a Bite lipstick over here. This is in the shade Mulberry. Another really, really gorgeous berry shade. I love the Bite lipsticks. They're very, very creamy and hydrating and comfortable to wear. We're almost done, guys. I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Prague. These types of fuchsia shades are really, really pretty because they're not like a neon fuchsia, which is very appropriate for the summer. It's definitely more of like a deeper fuchsia that's very appropriate for fall. All right, I have a few more to go hang in there. I have NARS Audacious Lipstick in Live. This is another very vampy shade. This is a very, very, very dark dark purple shade. It's so beautiful. The NARS Audacious Lipsticks are probably one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas because they're just so creamy and very, very opaque and pigmented. Another fall favorite, this is the Too Faced Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Fig. I wore this so much last fall and I could definitely see myself wearing it a ton this fall. This is a really pretty, like, dusty purple shade is how I would describe it. It's so beautiful. Do you see my hand right now? Very colorful. Those are all of the lipsticks that I wanted to show you guys. I told you guys I had a lot of products. I was not kidding. All right, speaking of lip products, I do have a lip liner that I wanted to mention because this is the lip liner that I find myself reaching towards a lot in the fall time because it goes with so many different like fall lip colors. So this is MAC Night Moth. So it's a dark purple shade, but you could use this lip liner with so many different types of lip colors. You could use it with purples, with super, super, super dark colors like Potion from Anastasia, but you could also use it with reds as well. And I just think this is a really great lip liner to have in your collection if you do enjoy wearing those types of colors. All right, guys, we are nearing the end of the video. These are the last few products that I want to talk about. I'm going to first talk about the blushes. The first one over here is NARS Sin. Especially if you're fair like me, when you see this blush, you're like, whoa, this blush is definitely not for me. But I kid you not, this is a gorgeous blush for the fall time. It's not overly intense whatsoever. It's a really pretty plum shade with a little bit of gold in it. And what I like about this is that it's intense, but it's not too intense. Like, you're not gonna look like a clown. This is not a very, very, very opaque blush at all. I just think it's a really gorgeous color for the fall time. I tend to wear it a lot. Then I have an Urban Decay blush that I love. I find it's actually pretty similar to Sim, but it's a little bit more wearable. This is called Fetish. And this is a matte blush and it is still that like plummy shade, but it has a little bit more pink undertones in it, which makes it definitely a lot more wearable. Hopefully you'll be able to see blushes are not easy to swatch. All right, the last product that I want to talk about is this green eyeliner from Benefit. This is the Vare Real Push Up Liner in green. This is such a cool forest green color. You could definitely still use colored eyeliner in the fall and this type of color because it is definitely more of like a deeper color is definitely very wearable and easy to rock. All right guys, so those are all of my must have fall products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, but I really wanted to put everything all in one video. I really, really hope that you found it helpful and let me know in the comments what other fall inspired videos you would like to see from me because I would love to know. Also let me know what your favorite fall beauty product is in the comments. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye. On him, he doesn't really like to say much. I don't know why he gets so shy, but you know what? I gotta respect his, uh, his decision not to be in the vlog, and I'm just gonna put my camera on me. How do you feel?